This is a very simple problem where we are uh, given four points in a 2D space and in a 2D space we have x and y coordinates and a point is represented by two values x1, x and y. So this x denotes distance from origin in x direction and this one denotes distance in y direction. So we will have four such pairs corresponding to these points. So let's call it P1, P2, P3, P4 and we are given this vector of pairs but we don't know whether these form a square or not so in a square what we need to check that all the four sides should be equal and this is not enough because a rhombus also is has four uh, sides are equal but it's not a square these angles are not 90 degree so in the case of squares these diagonals are also equal why is that because this length is x this length is x so this length will be x root 2 using the Pythagoras theorem similarly this one so diagonals are also equal so we have to check all the four sides are equal and the two diagonals are equal so if we have four points p1 p2 p3 p4 how many total connections are possible so think of this as a four people in a party and everybody has to shake hands with everybody else so first one will shake hands with the remaining three the second one already has shaken hands with this person so we will not repeat it so two more are remaining so one two and the third one it has already second hand with first and second so just fourth one so total we have three plus two plus one that is six possibilities so only six sides or six line segments can be formed so we will calculate the length of all the six and what is the length of two points in a 2d space so we have p1 its coordinate is x1 y1 and we have p2 whose coordinates are x2 y2 so this length is square root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square and how is it this formula let's say we have point p1 here P2 here and this is x and y coordinates so this distance is nothing but x1 and this distance is nothing but x2 so what is this distance if you x2 minus x1 and by the same logic this is y2 minus y1 because this length is till here it's y2 till here it's y1 and using the Pythagoras theorem take the square of these two and the square root of that so that's how distance is calculated so calculate all the six possible distances so that will be d of p1 2 or let's write is d1 2 d1 3 d1 4 d2 3 d2 4 and d3 4 these are the six values and what i will do here uh, so we will uh, once we have calculated this six distances we will store them in a hash map which will have a uh, key will be the distance and value will be the count so it will also be int and first time we insert some value it's not present so we insert with a count of one so let's take a concrete example let's say uh, we have a square whose sides are of length two so diagonal will be of length 2 root 2 so uh, for length 2 there will be 4 sides and for length 2 root 2 there will be 2 sides there are total 6 line segments so once we have calculated this distance we insert them in a map and if it's not inserted we insert with a count of 2 let's say we insert in this order so first time initially map is empty 2 is not here so we insert 2 with a count of 1 next 2 root 2 2 root 2 is not here so we insert 2 root 2 count 1 next 2 2 is already there so increment the count to 2 so we need to add 2 more values then 2 again 2 is present so increment the count to 3 2 root 2 already present increment the count to 2 2 so 4 so finally this is the state of map 
so once we do this we check first of all the size of map should be 2 if it's not 2 that means there are more than 2 unique values here so it's not a square so just straight away return false if its size is 2 there are 2 unique distances that does not guarantee it is a square maybe that uh, there are 3 sides of length 2 and 3 sides of length 2 root 2 so it's not a square so once we know that its size is 2 then we check that four of them one of the count of one of them should be four count of other one should be two so this should pass all the test cases but if it does not pass we will check that uh, the larger one has a length of root two times the first one so that should definitely work so let's write the code and before that let's see the time complexity so we have six sides to calculate so it's a constant time operation so six operations then we iterate through this to build this map so again uh, six and then some more constant operations so overall it will be o of one time and space it will be again o of one we will have a vector of size six and a map of size in the worst case six but it can be of size two if it's a square so both are O of 1. So let's write the code for this. So we will need to calculate the length 6 times. So better define a function for that. A0 is the x coordinate, B0 is the x coordinate of second point and we take a square of this. So you can take a square root also to find the actual distance but distance if distances are same distance squares will be also same. So ne no need to calculate the square root. So we have calculated all the six points. Now we will have an ordered map. So it's count is zero, then we are inserting it for the first time. So m dot insert else it's already present so just increment the count and this map is done so first we check if m dot size is not equal to 2 then that means there are uh, more than two unique lengths so return false straight away if it the execution of this program goes past beyond this line that means the size is 2 otherwise you should have returned so size is 2 now we know that so we iterate through this 
map we don't iterate in fact it will return from the very first value in fact it has two values only so it will return from the very first one so return so count is either 4 or 2 so if one of them is 4 or one of them is 2 other one will be 4 or 2 respectively because total is 6 Uh, so it will uh, return from here itself it will not go past beyond this but since this program returns this function returns bool the compiler will complain so let's write if return false here and the solution is accepted and we are right here at 91.04% so using the same logic try to write it in java and python uh, 